Thank you, Jason. And now, the last speaker from the Atheist Society, Travis McKenna. I'd just like to start by, by pointing out that uh, our, our colleagues on the other side, the Catholic Society, pointed out um, twice that, 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 that Patrick declared that he was ignoring the question of objective morality, just to correct, he's leaving that one through the keeper, I'm going to take that one. <laughs> At this point, before that happens though, I have some work to do. Um, when we talk about what we value, and what is valuable, I feel that it is innately connected to what we as a society value. And the question specifically, um, was very much concerned with what we value in the 21st century, or to society in the 21st century. So what I'm going to do is, I suppose, I'm, I'm going to lay out what I see as some things that we value, um, some things that I, I feel we can all agree on that we value, that aren't particularly contentious issues. Uh, and from there I'm going to extrapolate uh, and see if we can judge that the Catholic positions on these, on these values are valuable. That was a very complicated sentence. But I will try, I will, I'll try and get through it, and, and, and then to that end, I will finish up and I'll, I'll, I'll tackle this issue of objectivity and, and the so what, uh, which I find an incredibly uh, and vain and monstrous question to ask. Um, were I to, 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 to pick, and I, I mean, I, obviously I have picked, um, several things that I find that we uh, as a society value, the, the things that, I, that came to mind um, for me were, were things like justice, equality, uh, and, and care for your fellow human being. These are things upon which our um, our society is, is uh, are based, and one can argue uh, <laughs> about how um, Catholicism and religion has influenced their, um, their development, and, 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 and I feel that that is, to an extent, a non-issue. In that, we can agree at this point, um, I, feel, I feel we can all agree, that, um, that, that, that these are things that we value, justice, equality, and, and, and care for humanitarianism, and I'm sure that saying it's a non-issue is going to come to the question too. Um, at any rate, um, one, of, one of the things that I found most interesting uh, was, was uh, Jason's, Jason's mention of homosexuality, which I find I'm, uh, I'm incredibly, um, incredibly proud and well, I suppose proud is probably the wrong word, but I was incredibly touched to see that, 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 a public, that publicly a Catholic doesn't have any fears um, of coming out. Uh, is attracted to people of the same sex. I'm disappointed that he didn't use the word bisexual or gay. Um, and I, I, I think if you look at what the Catholic Church has to say about homosexuality, um, there are some reasons uh, that, that, that a certain reluctance, um, a, a reluctance can show its head. Uh, in, in, a, in, a, in a little, you know, sorry, um, what did I say? This the phone. There you go. Uh, Cardinal Ratzinger. Um, has once said uh, on, on, on the topic of, of same-sex marriage that uh, it was a pseudo-matrimony, that the various forms of disillusion of matrimony today uh, uh, attempted to arbitrate by the, by the people of the same sex are rather expressions of an anarchic freedom that wrongly passes for true freedom and love. Uh, he also went on to state that allowing children to be adopted by persons living in such a union would actually mean doing violence to these children in the sense that their condition of dependency would be used to place them in an environment that is not conducive to being developed as a full human being. I fail to see, ladies and gentlemen, how this can mesh with even something that approaches what we consider the value of equality of human beings today. I, I, I don't think... Thank you, whoever that was. <laughs> I'm touched. Um, uh, I'll pause for my next applause. Um, I, 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 I honestly don't see um, how uh, one one can even, uh, on, on one hand, um, claim to value the, 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 the dignity uh, and preciousness of each individual while describing uh, homosexuality as a disorder, a moral disorder, intrinsically based, quote, uh, in a moral evil. Um, uh, Pope Benedict then went on to say that he, he, uh, he, he, while he, quote, shows great respect for people who suffer from this disorder, suffer from homosexuality, um, he unfortunately would have to, uh, would, would have to uh, admit that services for homosexuals are not to be tolerated and church facilities are not to be made available to them. 
once again, if, if, if we are in this room as, as, as persons of the 21st century, as persons of this society, I don't see how uh, we can say, uh, given that we value equality, that these teachings are anything but, uh, or, or anything approaching valuable. If, if they don't mesh with what we value, then they simply cannot be valuable. Uh, I, I, I think, uh, though a semantic point, that stands to its own credit. Um, one, of, one of the other things I, I, I think is interesting, justice is a very nebulous term. It tends to mean a lot of things. Um, but, but in general, were I, to, were I to describe some of the tenets of justice uh, in the 21st century, you would talk about things like equality before the law. Everyone has access to the same laws. Everyone is subject to the same laws. Whatever those laws are may be a point for debate. However, uh, uh, there, there is this idea that justice, the, the, the idea of justice in which we believe, uh, is, 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 something, is something that should be subject to everyone. So when, uh, when, when Cardinal Ratzinger, as prefect for the, Cardinal, for the Congregation of the Doctrine of the Faith, reminded bishops uh, on the penal progress of codes uh, regarding sexual abuse claims, um, where, where he said that together with special norms which are transmitted by the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith for an individual's case, which are to be executed entirely, cases of this kind are subject to pontifical secret. The current head of the Catholic Church in Ireland, Sean Brady, uh, was a canon lawyer that, um, that was fully aware um, of, of evidence regarding child abuse claims of upwards of four dozen children. And not only was he aware, but he instructed several boys to sign oaths of secrecy, stating that they would not tell anyone about their experiences and what had happened to them. When questioned later on, uh, this has only come out, I think it was March or May uh, of 2012 this year, uh, he said that he felt betrayed by those that had given him the authority in the church to stop Brendan Smythe. And he was betrayed that they had failed to act on the evidence he had given them. This is passing the buck at its very best. Uh, a man um, who was uh, in, in 1973, 74, one of the two, uh, the Archbishop of Munich, oversaw the transfer of a man named Peter Holloman to a church-run psychiatric <coughs> institution after he admitted to forcing an 11-year-old boy to perform oral sex at on him in a church camp. This man decided, rather than subjecting this individual to the full force of the law, which he deserved, to take that out of the, out of the hands of the secular state, out of the hands of the, si the system to which you were all, uh, all bound, the system to which every other human being on the face of or inside that country, is subject, took him out of the hands of that and, 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 and put him somewhere where the statute of limitations could expire before he could be touched. That man uh, he, he is now Pope Benedict the Sixteenth. When, when the church is run by individuals such as these, that so shows such flagrant, flagrant disrespect for things that we value as a society, I don't conceive of how we can call an institution and its teachings thereof valuable. As, 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 as I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going for time, but this begs the question, so what? And what a question it is. Um, the idea that we can excuse the church's crimes over the history if morality is not objective, simply because this means it's, it's crimes against a collection of atoms. Is, is, is baffling, baffling in its arrogance. The idea that the fact, I mean, it is a fact that we are a collection of atoms, embodied by what the church sees to be a soul, uh, is, 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 it's a truism. I don't, I don't see how one can simply point to the absence of, oh, sorry, I have one minute left. I don't see how one can, one can uh, vainly and, and rationally point uh, point to the very fact that, that we are a collection of atoms, as though we have no, uh, no dignity um, as a human being. They would obviously say that given that we don't subscribe to the objective laws passed down by our God, we cannot hold in any objective sense that our existence, ha existence has a purpose. But I think that can, their, their conflation of purpose um, and meaning is, is, is entirely, entirely false. Uh, meaning is derived by a collection of individuals such as ours gathering together to decide what it is that we want to, uh, to action and what we want 
uh, to occur in the world around us and how we would and would not be like to be treated. And I feel that that has some dignity in and of itself, whether or not it is sanctioned uh, by an almighty being. Uh, an objective truth requires an objective source, and that objective source must be proven. Um, the pointing to internal consistency does not make an objective source. Thank you, Thank you very much. With regards to the instrumental value, surely in all your arguments and all the examples you gave, didn't you exclusively refer to the actions of those of the church rather than Catholicism as a moral system in itself? And even accepting that those people are representatives of Catholicism, surely um, representatives might deviate from those principles wrongly, as in the case of some of the child abuse instances or examples you raised. Um, we didn't mean so much to dodge the question of, of, of objective moral theory so much as we didn't expect that it would be the target of today's debate. Um, that being said, I'm sure we could I'm, I'm sure we can hash it out during question time. Can everyone hear me? Is this yeah, okay? Yeah. Um, but as far as as far as the institution itself goes and the teachings of, of the institution goes, I feel it's important to note. Um, that, 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 that there is a, certainly uh, a, a, sense of, a sense of completeness to the Catholic Church in that the Pope uh, is, is guilty of, of certain crimes and, and, and people, people that, have, that have very much either gone against Catholic teachings or gone against what we believe as a society um, are still running the Church. I, 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 think, I think in terms of what you can derive as, as, as its teachings, um, you can look to, I suppose, the Bible as you would like to. But, but I don't think that that differentiates Catholicism from anything different to, to, to I suppose, vanilla Christianity. Um, so what, what I'm trying to say is, I suppose, I would have, I would have loved to, and, and obviously time permitting, we can hash out in question time and closing statements, look at some of the more specific teach, teachings of the Catholic Church. Um, that being said, what we went for was what we could see as uh, the figureheads and the driving points of, of, of Catholicism. I don't think that um, in quoting the Pope on homosexuality, um, I, I misrepresented what Catholic teaching on homosexuality would be. And if I have, then we can talk about that now. That, uh, and again, if we, are, if we are to look at what Catholic teaching is, what, can, what can't we look at? Um, if, if not what the Pope has to say about, about pontifical secrets and what um, the Catholic Church teaches as appropriate and inappropriate to discuss with secular authorities. Sorry, sorry. Please move on. My yeah, apologies. That's hand done. Are there any other questions? <laughs> yeah, they're all lined up. Or all lined up? Okay, go for it. Um, yeah, yeah. The first thing everyone should know is that the whole Pope Benedict sort of covering up his sex abuse things is based on a report. Partisan oh, report from the past. Question. 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 And this is reflected in statistics on charitable giving in the U.S. and elsewhere. You know, for example, in the U.S., religious people are you know, sort of 25 percentage points more likely to have recently given to charity. You know, religious people are more likely to donate, and even this holds true even for secular charities. So, so, can we see, not see, that the proof is in the pudding, and that we are missing the point in pointing to conversations with Stephen Hawking, or you know, that time in the 80s that sort of the bishop put it in the bottom drawer? You know. Slightly missing what they want to comment. No, I don't think we are. Um, 
if if you want to point to the good teachings of the Catholic Church, by all means do so, but only where they exclusively differ from those propounded by humanism or secularism. Why? Charity is not something which is monopolized by Catholics, and if you remove religious institutions from the donation lists, then you find that the results are actually reversed. I think... They're, they're not. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can point to the latest recent study which shows that even to secular charity, religious people are 10 percentage points more likely to give. Cite your reference. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they clearly they don't have a monopoly on morality, but they seem to have the edge. That's what I'm missing that point. It's still valuable. <laughs> just to make a comment, um, I do agree that charity, justice, love, etc. are not monopolised by the Catholic Church, but I do think, I hope I've shown that the rational foundation for charity, justice and love are indeed monopolised by the Catholic Church. I don't think you are. Seems a bit any religion. Well, I, want, I want my proof then. <laughs> I'm going to go with the showing, sorry.